Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to write dynamic XPath in Selenium WebDriver. XPath is designed to allow the navigation of XML documents with the purpose of selecting individual elements, attributes or some other part of an XML document for specific processing. Actually, XPath produces reliable locators but in performance wise it is slower compared to the CSS selector, especially in Internet Explorer driver. Now we will see how to write dynamic XPath in Selenium web driver with practical examples. I am going to show you how to find XPath using single slash that is absolute xpath and using double slash that is relative xpath and I will show you how to find using single attribute and multiple attributes. Also I will show how to find using AND operator and OR operator and how to find using contains if you know any particular value in a locator by using contains function we can identify the xpath we can identify the element using the xpath and also I will show you starts with function text function last and using xpath access following and using xpath access preceding so let's get started In this Gmail login page, we will see how we can identify the element, say email field, using different ways of finding the xpath. First, we will see by using single slash, that is absolute xpath. Open the firebug and locate the element email field you can see the absolute xpath here it starts from the html tag till input tag it starts from html tag till input tag copy this and you can paste it in your script here I am going to paste that xpath in my script the script works like this it opens the Firefox browser and then it opens the Gmail login page and then it identifies the email field by using the particular xpath which we found now and it will type the data as software testing material in the email field now I am pasting the xpath value which I found in my script now I will execute this script and we will see how it works whether it identified the element or not click on the run button see the script is started And the Firefox browser opened and it navigated to the Gmail login page and the text we have passed as software testing material is entered in the email field here you can see clearly the software testing material in the email field which means by using the absolute xpath we have successfully identified the element now let's see how we can identify using relative xpath by using double slash. Locate the element by using the fire bug. You can see the value as double slash at the rate of id is equals to email. I am copying the xpath and I will place it in our script. This is the xpath we have found right now. 
by using firebug and now I will replace this xpath earlier we have captured by using the absolute xpath yeah let's see before using the xpath which we found right now we will just use double slash in the xpath in the absolute xpath by removing the html tags start from html okay now I will take start from form which means in between the form by using relative xpath we could create the xpath start selection from anywhere within the document it will search in a whole page for the preceding string here our string is form let's execute the script and we will see whether we could find the element on the gmail login page or not by using relative xpath firefox browser opened and it navigated to the gmail yeah it successfully identified the element by using the double slash that is relative xpath you can see software testing material text on the email field on the gmail login page close the browser and we will take this xpath which we got by using firebug tool and i am replacing the earlier xpath from the script here i took attribute value as id and attribute attribute name as id and attribute value as email it this is also starts with sl double slash star in the open brackets at id let me execute this see on the gmail login page it identified the email field and typed the text which we have passed now i will show you how we could write xpath without using the firebug tool go to the gmail login page sometimes we may face a situation that one attribute value won't work properly and we might face a situation to identify two attribute values that is multiple attribute value let's see how we could identify by using multiple multiple attribute values locate the element email and by default firebug tool shows the attribute value email of attribute as id and there are there is another attribute name is equals to email now i will take the second attribute as at the rate of name is equals to email I will copy this and replace the earlier xpath with this xpath in our script earlier we took just one attribute and in the script now you can see we have two attributes first attribute is id and the second attribute is name let's execute the script The script is running and the Firefox browser is opened and it navigated to the Gmail login page and it identified the email field and typed the text which we have passed close the browser which means we have successfully identified by using the multiple attribute here we took the at multiple attributes as ID and the name we could identify the element by using the multiple attribute with operators like and and or sometimes we can uh, we need to identify the element by using two attributes and sometimes one attribute might fail and second attribute might work that in those cases we could take or condition 
so let me remove the open bracket of uh, close bracket of first attribute and the open bracket of the second attribute and replace this with and operator remaining things will be same no need to change anything here could replace and with R which means either of the attribute passed or script will pass which means it will identify the element which we intended to identify now I am using and execute the script the script is running now let's see whether we could identify the element by using and operator or not on the Firefox browser you could see that it identified the element and typed the text which we have passed close the browser and the replace and with or and execute the script yes it worked successfully close the browser actually uh, here I took uh, two attributes like ID and name with the same attribute value which was available in the script which was, which was available in the exam file let's move on to the other functions like contains starts with first we will see contains and the syntax of the contains function double slash star in the brackets you can type contains and in the open parenthesis at attribute name comma in the single quotes attribute value if your attribute name is id you could take you could replace the attribute name with id in the syntax and attribute value if it is email you could replace the attribute value as email just I am modifying based upon our syntax open parenthesis at id comma in the single quotes email and close parenthesis and close bracket and remove the remaining things mainly the contains function we use when we are familiar with some part of the attribute value of an element here we know the attribute value as email so I will modify the attribute value I will remove the e from the email and we will see whether we could identify the element on the gmail login page or not execute the script uh, we could see the text software testing material in the email field which means we identified the element close the browser by using the contains function even though the attribute value we took partially it worked successfully I am replacing the contains function with starts with function even the starts with function it works similar to the contains function but we need to know the specified value from the starting of the attribute value here the attribute value starts with email so we could take em or email whatever it is but it should start from the exact attribute value the attribute value here is email right if you try to execute without email let's see this time our script will fail it won't identify the element on the gmail login page let's see see the script executed completely but it didn't identify the element
so now i am modifying the attribute value as e m a i l let me remove a i l just i am giving e m and executing the script opened the browser and navigating to the gmail login page and identified the email element and type the text software testing material close the browser let's see the next function text by using the text mechanism we could identify an element based on the text available on the web page we will identify new look for sign in coming soon i will copy the text locate the element and copy the text and add this in your xpath in the script here i am changing the earlier xpath i am taking the syntax related to the text function copy the text once again let's see the syntax of text function double slash star in the open bracket text open the parenthesis is equals to whatever the text related to your attribute you can pass the text value here so the same way i will change the xpath based on the text function syntax text parenthesis is equals to the text value which we copied on the web page place it here Let's modify the script a bit. We will take get text method and get the text from the Gmail login page. I will take a string a is equals to, and I will try to print the string value which we capture from the Gmail login page. Okay. Let's execute the script and see. The script is running and the Firefox browser is about to open. As it opened, and it navigated to the Gmail login page, and I hope it captured the text which we expected to capture. Close the browser and see the output on the console. Yeah, here it, we can see on the console new look for sign in coming soon. which means the text function worked as we expected let's move on to the another function last for this we will take another web page that is gmail registration page to identify the text box why because in the gmail registration page we could find multiple text boxes so that i can show you how we could identify the last text box from all the text boxes and here i will show you last function and last minus 1 which means you want to identify a field which is last but not one you can identify see this is our gmail registration page you could see first name last name and email field these are all the text boxes open the firebug and locate an element
the type is equals to text for the second field last name the type is equals to text minimize the browser and modify the xpath in the script double slash HTML tag is input you can take the HTML tag or you can take star here whatever uh, you prefer I'm taking a input as a HTML tag and in the open brackets at type is equals to text text should be in the single quotes not in the double quotes okay and after closing the bracket take last and open parenthesis execute the script I guess there is some mistake in the syntax we should modify the syntax I guess the browser is opened oops we gave the URL incorrect so let me modify the URL based on the Gmail registration page so I'm modifying the Gmail uh, URL Gmail login page URL with Gmail registration page and also we should modify the xpath too and I'm passing the value as high so I will I'll modify the value as software testing material by using the send keys method let's execute it see you can see the text on the last text field as software testing material as per the last function we took the attribute as type and the attribute value as text so it worked exactly what we expected close the browser and let me show you how the last minus one works which means if you want to identify last but one field you could identify using the last minus one field last minus one function this is not a separate function this is related to the last function just we could take minus one execute the function execute the script earlier the text which we have passed was typed in the last field like email address now it entered in the year field year field actually take four stray four values so it, the our script type just soft i will show you why it typed in the why it typed in the year field instead of mobile phone field locate the element mobile phone by using firebug you can see the type of the mobile phone field is TEL it's not text actually we took in the script as type is equals to text so it will identify the fields which are related to the type of text so the next field which is related to the type text is year field see here on the DOM you can see type is equals to text for the year field let's see other ways of identifying the xpath by using xpath access following and preceding yeah this is the syntax for the xpath access of following and preceding it starts with double slash double forward slash star attribute name attribute value double slash following colon colon and the HTML tag in the brackets at, at attribute name is equals to attribute value 
the preceding also works the same way like following just you need to replace the following with preceding let's see the practical example how it works even this time i will use the same page gmail registration page and i will take the first name field and the second name field to identify by using the following we could take one field as a reference field and we could identify the fields related to that particular field if i take the first name as our reference field and if i use following xpath access we could identify the next field like last name and if i take last name field as a reference and use preceding xpath access we could identify the first name field let's minimize the browser and we will modify the xpath by using the syntax i'm removing the last function there in the previous xpath and you could take input or star whatever you like it is just a html tag after the double slash and i'm modifying it see locate the element first name and see the attribute names and attribute values of the first name id is equals to e first name and for the last name id is equals to last name so let's modify the script based on the elements attribute here i am changing it as first name and i will take double slash following colon colon and the html tag our html tag here is input and at attribute value i am taking as type is equals to text which means it will identify the text field next to the first name field first name is a text type so it will identify the last name element on the registration page following and it will type the text as software testing material let me execute it let's see whether it identified exactly or not which means it should identify last name field on the registration page and it should type the text yeah it worked as we have expected close the browser and let's modify the xpath by using preceding in the place of following and remaining thing will be same no need to modify anything other than first name as a last name why because we are taking the reference as a last name field and we are about to identify the first name field so execute the script and the script is running now you could see the text software testing material should type in the first name field let's see yes it worked exactly what we have expected this is the way the following and preceding xpath access works this xpath access you use sometimes you may have one reference value reference web element and you need to identify the following or preceding in those cases we use these things hope you guys understand very clearly in case if you guys have any issues or any questions please comment below and i will try to reply as soon as possible thank you guys